So this is the start of the opening up bulkhead here and closing the hatch because this bed is going to be dry and this is ventilation system it's really too big taking up too much place and it's a mistake because water can collect down here in the bottom if it comes in and then it won't go out again and then it locks the system well i didn't realize that 35 years ago So, friends, under here is the ballast. Well, that's interesting. So, that was more interesting than I was thinking. Well, anyway, I have to take it away and I will put it under the boat instead. So, after much work, one side of the ballast place is done. But still the port side is there. And I got up quite a lot of ballast. It's going to be placed in a lower place and added some more. So this is it. Some of the things coming out. Well, the ventilation tube is really too big. It takes up too much space. So, now all the lead is out, it's going to be pit, put lower down, but this is very, very stubborn. This thing's in the end, it's like solid epoxy, and I'm trying, I'm trying. I use this multi-tool and hammers and wedges, but I'm gaining on it, I'm gaining on it. So finally, it's left. It's a big piece. It's like solid epoxy. So, but never give up. Now we're just going to go do a bit of grinding here to make it smooth. So here is all the lead, I weighed it, wrote it down and added it and it came to 90.2 kilos, it's not too exact. Well, now it's going to add a bit more, maybe 30 kilos or 50 kilos more and then I'm going to put it lower down, so it's going to be more and it's going to be lower down. Hello friends, this is Irwin. And now we're preparing for the changes. The top of the deck house is gone. And it's a good build, you know, it's nice and thick, laminate. And it's 30 millimeter doing the cell, so it's good. And now also, I cut the hole here in the back, also doing the cell. And like you see, here's all the lead is gone, 90 kilos. It's going to be replaced by 150 kilos on the outside, so it's 60 kilos more. And it comes below, so it's more, and it's lower down. So this is the access to the off place and this is little hole I'm going to get in through and I think it is plenty and the bed is going to be 80 wide in the back and 60 in the front and here in the front <coughs> I'm going to take down this bulkheads and move it back 20 centimeter and the total length of it will be 70 centimeters and the bed will be 
192. So the present one is 180. That's what I had before, and that was in the plywood boat. But also to get all this food and water for that long voyage to New Zealand, I have to build up here like I did in the plywood boat. So the bottom of the bed is going to be raised up 20 centimeter and on the sides it's going to be spaces too and now I learned very much about that you know from the plywood boat so some people think well that was a waste of time no it's not a waste of time I learned plenty on it I learned from the ventilation too on the previous boat so it's very good and also this cleat thing So it's going to take some time. And also the deck here is going to be raised. The top of the deck house is going to be raised, I think, 10 centimeters or something like that. Because I want more flotation high up to give buoyancy when the boat's capsizing. And the extra buoyancy combined with the lower center of gravity of the keel and the extra keel going to give plenty of stability. So, well, I'm happy with it. And here on the side, I'm going to make a bit more headroom to be able to move the dining room back here because it would be better if I'm not eating in the bed. But much more is coming up. Stay stu tuned, subscribe, and do night and don't tell me bad things. <laughs> okay, thank you.